Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a list of my top 25 favorite music videos of 2012. This is our inaugural video for my favorite, favorite, favorites list for this year. We're going to talk about music videos, next video, EPs, singles, and then albums. Albums of the year. And yeah, basically excited to do this entire list. This is going to be awesome. Just been a great year for the needle drop me. I'm happy to have been making videos for this entire year for you guys. And uh, and yeah, you know, that's that's it. Um, psyched! And uh, oh, Cal Chuchesta, in honor of this past musical year, this past year for the needle drop, uh, has uh, volunteered to put together some kind of uh, video montage of just like of uh, just this this past year, I, I, I guess. So let's let's watch that. Okay, stop, stop the video, stop the video, stop, stop this thing, stop this thing, stop it, okay, all right. Well, um, <laughs> problemo numero uno, uh, this is just puppies. This is, this is just our puppies. This is, that's it. Soul? <laughs> well, uh, the problem is my friend for the past three fucking years, none of the videos have been about puppies. Well, maybe the channel is in need of a change. Maybe the channel <laughs> doesn't need a change. Maybe you need to focus on the task at hand. Oh, come now. Don't be that way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Didn't you work hard on the list? Don't you want to tell the people the list? I'm Anthony and my 25 favorite video is... My 25th favorite video of 2012 is Lorne's Way Me Down. This is a very interesting video featuring a lot of digital pixelized animation fitting the very moody electronic instrumental very well and kind of tells an interesting tale of not fitting in the box in a world of conformity. That's good. That's a good guy. See? It's good. Aw, yes. My 24th favorite video is Action Bronson's The Symbol, which is off of his new mixtape, Rare Chandeliers. It's one of those videos that comes along every so often where an artist embraces an exploitation film aesthetic and there's a lot of campy, silly, cartoony violence as well as Action Bronson tasting cocaine and saying, that's delicious. It's very comedic and fits Action Bronson's personality perfectly. That's wonderful. Okay, you're good. You're good. You don't need me. You don't need me. I'll see you later. All right. Thank you for helping me believe again. My 23rd favorite video of this year, Here We Go Magic's Hard To Be Close, which the title of the track is actually sort of funny and fits in perfectly with the theme of the video, which is about three guys getting stuck in an elevator for what seems like <laughs> many, many years, but at the end of it, it sort of, you know, it, 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 watch it. My 22nd favorite video of this year, Title Fights Secret Society. This video is certainly a lesson. Never break a little girl's heart, even inadvertently. The results will be bloody. My 20th favorite video of this year, 
Um, with no question, it is Krispy Kreme's The Baddest. Not only was this pretty much the video that launched the comedic rapper Krispy Kreme to where he is today, but I mean, it is just an amazing piece of, of visual hilarity with lots of gun pointing and boogers. It's, it's great. If you have some kind of phobia of cats surrounding you and lip syncing to lyrics, uh, then my 19th favorite video will give you nightmares, orbitals wonky. My 18th favorite video is a strange little dance between the two main characters of this new album that they kind of created together, St. Vincent and David Byrne. Who? My 17th favorite video is an interesting effect, sort of using a double camera, taking the footage, melding them, and you know, kind of having them in the middle, and uh, sort of conjoining them, and having some really interesting, you know, off kilter uh, video footage because of that J.J. Doom governor. It's so funny how a neat little trick kind of makes an entire video pretty interesting. My 16th favorite video, the Number 10 film from the Sigaros film experiment project where they sort of gave many people a small sum of money to create a video for various songs off of their new LP. I actually would love to give a shout out to that entire project because this is not the only good video from that project. This is my favorite from the project featuring a man kind of wandering through the woods. He comes across a fox friend. That fox friend sadly passes away. But yes, do look up that entire Sigaros film experiment project. There are a lot of interesting videos in there, to say the least. Le Bouffe Dong. Number 15 in my favorite videos of 2012 is easily Zebra Cats, I'm a Reed with Ingina Red Fox. God, I love this video. The first time I ever saw it, first thing that popped into my head, what is this crap? However, <laughs> after having watched it numerous times after that, initially being intrigued by its badness, I guess, but then kind of being sucked in by just how strange and eerie and minimal it is. This song and the video, to me, I mean, are just really a pair. Er, 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 er. My number 14 favorite video of this year is the Darwin D's video for the track Free. Hoping that this dude's next album will be good, but I really do like this video. It's a funny set of like double, triple, quadruple takes on a certain situation. It's sort of like this one occurrence happens, but you're seeing multiple sections of it play out over and over and over in different ways. And and it's got some really nice and interesting editing tricks in it too that I like. My number 13 favorite video of this year, Vitalik Stamina. Definitely one of the strangest videos I've seen this year. Kind of details the exploits of a detective sort of trying to solve a crime, I guess, of this sort of fantasy weight loss drug that maybe in fact does the opposite and kills people. It's, it's kind of weird and intense. My number 12 favorite video of this year, Fiona Apple, Every Single Night. While at first glance this video may seem like a random barrage of just, you know, sort of footage and, and shots from just a whole slew of different things, they all connect in very strange and subtle ways that once you watch the video again and again and again and once it all kind of hits you, it's like, oh, that's, you know, all kind of weird. At number 11, I'm putting Alt-J Something Good, which is, to me, the most immaculate video that they put out all year. Just puts visuals to the very slow, dramatic, and man, really romantic death of a bullfighter. And the very end where you're sort of seeing the bull through that hole, you know what I'm talking about? If you've seen it, you see the bull through the hole, it's eerie. At number 10, Cloud Nothings Fall In. This is a very funny and just you know exciting to watch video where the band, the director that they work with is kind of making a play on you know sort of those old 50s black and white synchronized swimming sessions where you have all the ladies in sort of rubber head caps and they're ah, da, 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 diving in unison. It's, it's a really creative take on this you know motif. At number nine, Danny Brown, <laughs> grown up. I loved seeing this little kid sort of play Danny Brown, 
tear it up, sort of go through the, the motions of sort of showing hypothetically how Danny kind of lost his tooth. And this kid just like, man, he was a firecracker in this video. He had a ton of energy and personality. I mean, he just mimicked Danny's motions and energy perfectly on this video. I loved it. At number eight, Square Pusher Dark Steering. This is a beautiful video. I mean, just a really dark piece of eye candy. I love the way the camera zooms in and out of focus. I love Tom Jenkinson, the helmet, the backdrop of lights. It's like a giant, epic, monolithic light bright that um, is uh, of doom. Light bright of doom. Not only does this next video get number seven, but it also wins the superlative for most cardboard used out of the entire 25, Lush Life's Magnolia. This is a hip hop song and Many, 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 many of the words in this song were cut out in giant cardboard figures that are just sort of shown throughout the track on people's heads, sort of floating and flying down from the sky. It's pretty awesome, the effort, the, the physical, you know, crafting all this cardboard, physical effort that went into making this video, and it, it really paid off into something impressive. At number six, this is the only band to show up twice on this list, Cloud Nothings Again, with the track No Future, No Past. I mean, just one of these videos that for some people it's going to be boring, it's going to be uneventful, but for me, it was in intense, it was dramatic to see this guy sort of floating on his back over all this kind of terrain throughout the song, and such a long song too, and seeing him get progressively more worried and just upset and just sort of not knowing what's going on, and then toward the very end to see, you know, that image at the very closing of the video, chilling. At number five, my, my fifth favorite video here, the very excessive, violent, and kind of hilarious Big Beast from Killer Mike. LP's awesome in that video. The chase scene is great. The part where he is in the <laughs> convenience store and he sort of, you know, ends up being the good guy and saving the day. Though there are points where it seems kind of disjointed and the the sort of zombie strippers toward the end are just like, uh, this kind of seems like thrown on top. Uh, even though it is a little all over the place, it is hilarious and just fun to watch. Again, eye candy. Another piece of eye candy, a beautiful piece of animation but coming from another angle, Flying Lotus, Putty Boy Strut. Actually one of my favorite videos of last year was a Flying Lotus video too, also had fantastic computer animation. This is like a series of little robots kind of running around, eating each other, growing, shrinking, breaking, flying, doing all sorts of crazy crap and it's just kind of mesmerizing to see what all of these little itty bitty machines do all over this short video. I mean, I just love the detail in this video. It's just awe-inspiring, the animation on this short film. Number three, I mean, my interest in this video, the reason I praise it really, uh, maybe it comes from a sick place. Uh, maybe there's something horribly wrong with me. Uh, watch the video if you're yet to see it and decide that for yourself. Uh, but Liars Brats, I mean, <laughs> In the short span of time that this video, uh, <laughs> that it was on, it just completely ruined any childhood emotions I had toward Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd. I mean, you, th there's essentially a part where you're seeing these computer-generated characters of these characters doing some pretty absurd and, and vile stuff. My second favorite video of this year, one of the longest and most epic videos to be released this year, spiritualized. Hey Jane, I freaking love this video. It's a very abrasive video. I mean, it's not like, you know, it's not just like blood and gore. It's not like going to make your stomach churn or anything like that. But it is racy and deals in some very deep sexual and familial issues. So, yeah. And my number one favorite video of this year, just without question, is actually Dinosaur Jr.'s Watch the Corners. Not only is this one of my favorite rock songs of this year, and the video features uh, Tim Heidecker of Tim and Eric, uh, though I do love Tim and Eric, I don't really feel like this plays that large of a role for me in this video because it's not like Tim is playing this comedic or silly or funny role. I mean, he actually is one of the more serious characters in this video. I mean, for me, what I love about this video is the concept. This girl falls in love with this guy 
at this job where she's working at the grocery store and his face is sort of blurred out like you're watching like a cop TV show or something like that and someone didn't sign the release after the episode so they had to blur their face out and you know I, I at first I wasn't exactly sure why this guy's face is blurred out but as the video progresses the concept becomes kind of clear and as they get closer more blurs you're gonna see it when you watch this video it's an interesting concept and when it finally hit me I was like oh that's actually pretty awesome so yeah I mean the the cinematography is good the acting is great but you know just that that concept with the blurs on the faces actually mean how it becomes apparent as the video moves that's what really kind of got me hooked into this video and got me watching it again and again and and made me really enjoy it just the most out of any video that I had seen this year. Let me know what you thought of this list. What were some of your favorite music videos from this past year? What was your number one? What was your number two? What was your number three, four, five? Feel free to put your list in the comments. I will look and and that's it. And that's it. Man, first, first video. Yes, 2012. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Anthony Fantano videos, favorites, forever. <laughs>